Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a quick hands-on with the brand new Red Magic 3S. This is the upgraded version of the Red Magic 3 that was announced earlier this year, and the 3S should provide us with a couple of new features that may sway you to pick up this one over any other gaming device on the market this year. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. The first thing we'll notice about the Red Magic 3S is that aesthetically it looks very close to the Red Magic 3 and because it's intended to be a bump spec upgrade, uh, they didn't really change too much. So the form factor, the accessories, everything that we use on the Red Magic 3 will work pretty much the same here on the Red Magic 3S. Uh, the color accents are slightly different here. You'll notice that we have a nice gradient color. Although for some reason on camera, it seems like it kind of has like that hard break, but when you're holding it in hand, it looks basically like a red color that's bleeding over to more of a purplish uh, hue right here and then uh, going down to more of a lighter blue. We still have the Red Magic logo sitting at the bottom, the basically, I would say now, uh, infamous uh, fingerprint sensor, basically honeycomb shaped. Of course, the top exhaust fan that basically married to the side suction fan that enables us to actually cool the device using vents. So that actually has a built-in fan in there to cool the phone. We still only have a single 48 megapixel sensor that's on the back. That's something that didn't change from the first one. And of course, we have basically just the strip here that's a customizable LED strip that you're able to customize directly within the gaming mode. Now on the right side of the device, we have the suction vent that's married to that basically back vent there that's used with the built-in fan. One and two triggers here that we're able to use to configure gameplay. So you can actually have air triggers to control the device when you're playing games, volume rocker and a power button. On the left side, we have the Pogo Pin dock that is also compatible with the Ethernet dock that was available for the 3, as well as basically any other accessory that were made to use this basically docking mechanism. Uh, we also have the SIM tray as well as the gaming mode on. This is not this, uh, the toggle that we have like with the OnePlus uh, devices. So turning this on will basically kick in into gaming mode. It's like a secondary launcher built into your device. At the top, we still have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack at the end of 2019 uh, on a gaming phone. That is just absolutely fantastic. So on the bottom, we have a secondary grill, a USB-C, as well as a microphone. So essentially what we have here is two front front speakers that are basically complementing that 6.5 inch full HD 90 Hertz display with the 19 and a half aspect ratio display here uh, that does as well as support HDR. Uh, what we have here as far as the processor though, is the brand new Snapdragon 855 Plus. So let's go ahead and uh, swipe up, face unlock. Face unlock is still supported here as well as the fingerprints unlock as well as pin and passcode of course. Uh, what I did I wanted to show you guys real quick is that the CPU-Z application, again, we are running the brand new Snapdragon 855 Plus. Uh, this basically right there is showing us and of course it's running with the Adreno 640. And as far as the display, as I mentioned to you guys, this is a 1080p with the 19.5 aspect ratio by nine. Uh, we have basically uh, 11, 12 gigs of RAM with basically 256 gigs of internal storage in this configuration. So just be aware on that part. As far as the battery, we still have 5,000 milliamp battery built in here that does support the 27 watt charger that you can buy separately in the box unfortunately it only includes the 18 watt charger but if my understanding is in the asian markets you actually have the ability of picking up the 27 watt charger that will charge it a lot faster now one of the other upgrades that they did here from the uh, basically red magic 3 is the internal storage which is the ufs 3.0 so for that we're going to go ahead and run basically Android bench we'll run the benchmark and of course all of the benchmarks we'll give it a second let it finish and of course, what we can see here essentially is that sequential read is basically 1422, sequential write is 382, and then of course, random read and write, uh, and the random read is basically 170 to 150, and it goes through. So definitely one of the fastest internal storage that you can get at 256 gigs. Uh, the UI for the most part is still very similar to what we had before. We're still not running any Android 10 or anything like that. We are running Android 9.0 with the August 5th, 2019 security patch update. And of course, hopefully we'll see the upgrade to Android 10 at some point in the future. Uh, it's very simple, very nice. The display is always going to be very fast, very, very responsive. And of course, gameplay on this is going to be just fantastic. So let's go ahead and turn on the gaming center here. Just flip the switch. And then we'll get this uh, nice little uh, screen, Red Magic. And of course, any games that you have installed will start working this way. And of course, the Aura Band now will start actually showing. You can see it, it turns on. You can turn on the cooling fan and the Aura Band from here. Swiping from the right gives you access to controlling the gaming center. It's called Game Space. You can actually turn on performance mode. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Please use this during the game. We have the 4D uh, haptic feedback, the touch buttons. Those are the ones that are present on the top. Again, we need to jump into a game. So let's go ahead and jump into PUBG. And as you can hear, 
sound is just um, still as amazing as it was before. So we can swipe from here and then go into the auto mode. You'll notice it gives us a couple of options here. We have auto mode, we have GPU turbo, we have super mode, and we have CPU turbo. We can go ahead and switch between the different modes. And of course, depending on the mode that you're using, it will basically use a little bit more power, but provide you the best experience. Auto mode should be the best that we can do, but if you wanna basically fine tune it, you can do that and then close it from there. Swiping again and hitting the touch buttons, this gives us access to basically knowing exactly what we need to do. So start setting up. You'll notice that there's an L and a right, and then there's a T, which is the fingerprint sensor in the back. I can put these buttons in any position that I want. And of course, once I'm done, you can notice right here, so let's go ahead and move it right there. Anytime I initiate these buttons, it actually indicates or uses them as an additional trigger. This makes it very functional, specifically when you're using it in games. Now you can turn on or keep the vibration on or off. You can, I'd like to keep them on just so that I know I actually did hit the button. And when you're done, just go ahead and close and it'll stay in that position. So if we go ahead and start a match, I'll go ahead and go back in here and I'm gonna configure this. I'll put this on punch and I'm gonna put this. I actually, I'll keep this on punch, but I think this is gonna change into fire once we have something. So we'll go ahead and close it here and we'll just keep walking. And at this point, you'll notice we're here. I'm able to use the additional trigger. So let's go ahead and put this up. Boom, 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 boom. And of course, jump. We'll wait basically, obviously, till the plane comes in, gets ready. But the main benefit, of course, here is that now you don't have to do the little crouching thing on the finger. You can actually customize it and keep your fingers away. And because we don't have a notch on both sides of the display, it actually looks really, really nice with that big 6.65 inch full HD. And this will run the highest resolution possible within PUBG um, that the device will support. So 90 Hertz all the way. And of course, it will work just the same with any other game that you can actually customize it. Of course, whenever you're done, you just turn off the actual launcher and it takes you back into your normal experience. And of course, everything can be customized and installed. Uh, we have the ability of customizing that little ribbon as far as the LED, so the gaming dock station, stores, as I mentioned to you guys, account accessibility, picture in picture. We have the ability of turning that on. And of course, the ability of using it right now, it's unfortunately only supporting to WhatsApp. So you'll notice basically currently only supports WhatsApp as far as an application, sound display, and of course, the customization of the multicolored strip that they're calling basically for notification, charging, as well as boot. Uh, last but not least, we also have the screen recorder that's built in and you're able to customize it and initiate it to be able to do some nice screen recordings on this device. What we're getting with the 3S essentially is the best that Red Magic has to offer. We still have the 3.5mm headphone jack, we have the fat, massive 5000mAh battery, the 6.65 inch display, 90Hz refresh rate, we have the 855 Plus, we also have UFS 3.0. So all in all, when you put them together, you're going to be getting the best gaming experience. Now, we're not bumping up to QHD, we're still sitting at 1080p, but I think that kind of works to provide us really long gameplay. And of course, the built-in fan in the back that provides us basically the really good experience. When it comes to camera, if you had an opportunity to see my earlier videos on the 3, uh, I wouldn't necessarily buy this phone for the camera. It can perform well in good lighting situations, but this device is definitely a gaming first, camera second type of an experience. So as long as you understand that, uh, the price point of course will reflect it, uh, is that you're gonna be able to get basically the best experience from gaming. Uh, the secondary game space that they provide us here is very nice and very customizable. And the air triggers definitely become very, very functional, especially when you're playing games like racing or anything that require you to have multiple inputs and you don't have to basically do the claw factor to basically be able to play. So overall, very nice upgrade. Uh, is it enough to sway me to go if, let's say, I did purchase the Red Magic 3 to buy the Red Magic 3S? I probably would say not really. I probably would say this is definitely a nice upgrade from an earlier version of, let's say, any other gaming device that you have. For the price point and the features, I think they've given us a really good deal. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And there'll be a link in the description below if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.